Hello and welcome to the Armor 3 E3 Night Ops Showcase, Director's Cut. Here we'll take a closer look at some of our new lighting features and finish things up with a short firefight. So little touches like the chem light to the right, or small improvements to things like the heat effect from a burning fire, demonstrate our commitment to adding some richness and quality to night scenes. That's also evident in the revamped muzzle flashes. Although again it's an example of a visual improvement, it's interesting to consider the way that subtle aesthetic changes might impact upon gameplay, which hopefully we'll see in combat just a little later. Although we've still got a little more work to do with tweaking and configuring, particularly with the brightness and recoil, by switching to my sidearm we can see I'm now making a much smaller visual footprint. Now if I head into the new gear system, which we'll talk about a little more shortly, I can take off my attachment and the resulting muzzle flash is now far more pronounced. It's a pretty basic idea, but it demonstrates the way that simply adding some small visual polish produces a new set of decisions to make in combat. One bit of feedback we noticed was about the brightness of the scene. If I use a quick dev cheat to skip the date forward a fortnight or so, we can immediately see the difference between having a full moon and not. It's a lot darker, meaning that I can't quite see so far ahead and that things like NVGs or flashlights would be far more effective and pronounced within such a scene. It helps demonstrate the way that various little enhancements come together to create improved nighttime gameplay. Okay, switching the flashlight on, we can see the way it illuminates the environment and also get an idea of the advantage of the new tactical pace, where I can maneuver around with the weapon raised part of our greater goal of improving the fluidity of controls. Taking a slightly closer look at the inventory system, we've got the customizable attachments for my weapon. At the moment, we've equipped a flashlight on the side rail. Now, if I open up this second tab here, which represents the gear I can carry on my fatigues, I can switch that out for an IR pointer. It's worth mentioning that this interface is still a prototype, but it communicates the basic design goals of the system, namely on the fly customization, and factoring in the capacity and weight of your gear with other design features like our fatigue and aiming mechanics. Switching the IR pointer on, we can mark targets for our team, which would only be visible if they've got NVGs equipped too. Okay, so skipping ahead a little, uh, to the meetup with our friendly patrol, we'll take a look at some of the things I've shown so far in action. As we head away from the light source and into the night, we can see just how dark it can get. Okay, now I happen to know that there are some enemies up ahead, so if I can dive into some cover, we should get a feeling of how firefights are influenced by some of these new visual tweaks. Now I can see muzzle flashes burning through the foliage. And it's clear that my own teammate is lighting himself up like a Christmas tree without the use of a muzzle suppressor. So here we've briefly seen the way that lighting can bring a real sense of both atmosphere and gameplay, working quite organically together to, hopefully, generate some fantastic experiences. Alright, that's about it for now. Stay tuned to Armor3.com and our Armor3 official social channels to keep up to date with the very latest news and updates. Bye for now.